Thank you. I would like now to invite Simon Ateba from Africa News Today to ask the next question. Simon? Yeah, thank you for taking my question. This is Simon Ateba from Today News Africa in Washington, D.C. Last Thursday, WHO Africa warned that Africa was again in danger of being left behind, with only 25 people vaccinated in Guinea so far. And yesterday, WHO Africa said the new variant were pushing up death and, and new cases. With almost 6,200 people dead on the continent in the past week alone, can you please give us an update on vaccination in Africa, on other new variant in the continent? When exactly do we expect serious vaccination to start happening in Africa beyond repeated uh, promises from COVAX? And what does the WHO think about the Russian vaccine that was discussed yesterday with authorities in Algeria? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Simon. I would like maybe to invite uh, Dr. Sumia Swaminathan to take part of this uh, question. Sumia, are you online? Yes. Thank you, Simon. And uh, I will start and Kate or Bruce might uh, want to add. I think this is what is topmost of our minds and uh, in terms of getting vaccines to people, especially to those who are at the highest risk. We have two uh, frontline workers who've spoken to us today. So clearly healthcare workers and others who are at high risk of both getting the infection and dying from it um, need to be in the front of the queue to get the vaccines, regardless of where they live. And this takes us back to what the DG has called for already the hundred, in the first hundred days of this year, we should start seeing vaccines rolling out in all countries. Now, how do we do that? We're doing that through COVAX. And um, we last week announced uh, that we had signed a deal with Pfizer, uh, which is a vaccine that has received WHO emergency use listing as well as uh, SAGE policy guidance. Um, it has challenges of ultra cold chain, but those can be overcome. And so we are hoping very soon in the next couple of weeks to start dispatching the first consignments of this vaccine to countries around the world that are part of the COVAX facility so that they can start vaccinating their health workers and, and the most high risk. We also expect to start receiving uh, doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Now, currently it is going through the regulatory review at WHO. Um, you must have heard that the uh, European Medicines Agency has just given it a conditional marketing authorization. Uh, we need to review the dossiers independent of that because the manufacturing sites for the vaccines that will come to the COVAX facility are different from the vaccines that will go to Europe. So we are hopeful that in the next two weeks, at the most, this should happen, that we should have an emergency use listing, provided that everything, of course, goes according to plan and all the data is there, and that we can then start receiving doses of the AZ vaccine from the manufacturer, from the uh, manufacturing sites in India and South Korea, mm -hmm. and those should also be going out to the to the countries. Meanwhile, of course, we are working with the countries on getting absolutely ready with everything that's needed, and we've gone through that before. On what are all the elements of preparedness at the country level, so that the day the vaccines arrive in the country, they can start being deployed. And there are many many things that countries need to do to get ready. We've seen even in the high income countries that. It's not just a question of having the vaccine uh, in the refrigerator. It takes a lot for, from that point to actually getting it into people at the pace at which we want to move. So, so I th February is, is definitely our goal. The earlier, the better. And um, we will try to expand as, as rapidly as possible through the COVAX uh, facility. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Swaminathan. Now we'd like to ask Dr. Simao to address the question about the uh, Russian vaccine. Thank you. Thank you, Fadila, and thank you for the question, Simon. Uh, WHO has actually has under assessment at this stage four vaccine candidates. The two are the AstraZeneca derived and just 
piggybacking on the issue of the EMA approval today. It's a, it's a very useful approval because it approves the core data and the core data is useful for all the sites that are, you know that AstraZeneca has eight different manufacturing sites. So WHO is at the final stages of assessing the sites that will provide to the COVAX facility, which are the uh, SK Bio in Korea and uh, the Syrian Institute in India. We do have, a, we are also in advanced stage of assessment of Sinopharm and Sinovac, and at this stage we do have a team in China to do the inspections in the Chinese facilities. Regarding the Russian vaccine, we did have a, uh, last, last Friday we had a new meeting with the, the, the manufacturers, and there's still, WHO is still waiting, will, there will be subsequent meetings, WHO is still waiting for some core information, some vital information to be presented, and it, this should be happening in the next few weeks. Thank you. Uh, Dr. O'Brien, you have the floor. Yes, just to add a couple of things to what Simia and uh, Mary Angela have uh, contributed. Um, the, on the country readiness, I think um, what I uh, really want to communicate is the um, full readiness that many countries have to get started. And, uh, and yet there are countries that still have a, a ways to go to be, to be prepared. In addition to that, there are choices, as has been indicated, about the vaccines that are coming through the COVAX facility. And not all countries want to proceed with, um, with some of the ultra cold chain um, issues that, uh, that are at hand um, and are making decisions about um, what the sort of optimum mix of vaccines will be um, in, in their program. So the COVAX facility is ready, as Simia said, is ready to deploy vaccines in, in the next coming weeks. Um, and countries are in the process of um, uh, communicating and being communicated with about what those allocations will be. I want to direct your attention to the COVAX facility website, um, which does have uh, now s supply projections over time by region um, and by and by product, and I think those are useful um, uh, pieces of information for for you to draw on about what the Covax facility is uh, uh, projecting to deploy. 